Hey, wonderful people. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Hey! I haven't been filming for a while because it's been so much on my mind that I've been trying to accomplish. Um, I've been, I feel like my camera is sliding. My last video was basically me celebrating sobriety. I'm happy to let you all know that I'm still celebrating sobriety. Also, I think a few videos before that, I spoke about how I was maintaining my mental health. I did stop going to therapy. Um, it was a decision that I didn't wanna make, but I felt like it was a decision that the universe kind of like um, led me to make and i went through with that and a big part of me staying on top of my mental health is sobriety it's doing things that i want to do doing things that keep me busy doing things that i'm highly interested in i had to put something down to like make it stop like leaning down or whatever um but like I was saying, a part of maintaining my mental health is actually doing things that keep me active, doing things that I'm actually interested in, and doing things that make my brain um, like active and also produce like serotonin or even that form of meditation that you get when you are focusing on something as well. I have been enjoying solitude and really, really getting to know myself, exploring myself, exploring my mental health, exploring the things that I can do better. And um, I appreciate the journey. Although I do find myself crying sometimes, I do find myself questioning my worth. I do find myself going through like sad states. I find myself in states where I'm just trying to do everything at once and get everything done. Um, and all of those, I'm not going to be hard on any specific part of me anymore. I'm going to accept that these things play a part in who I am and who I'm growing to be. I really believe that enjoying your life, enjoying your space, enjoying yourself, um, and really not being afraid to set those boundaries or open yourself more to things that make you feel more free, that those things are helpful when it comes to like developing yourself or at least maintaining your own mental health. Um, I am gonna get back into therapy. I just don't wanna find myself in a position to where I feel like I may be surpassing what the experience has to, has to give to me. Um, I, I want to be grateful. I want to feel, I want to feel like it's really, really for me and helping me and allowing me to progress. And those are some feelings that I, I did have with therapy. Um, it's just that I began to face roadblocks and that was the part that was making me feel like, I don't know about this. <laughs> Ooh. So I also have um, more poetry. This piece that I'm working on, it's actually to um, an instrumental. Each time I do it, I end up crying because it's like, it's 10 minutes long. It's, it could be seven to 10 minutes long. It depends on which one I use. Um, but during the session, I go through so many different forms of myself. I have like masculine energy when I'm doing it. I have feminine energy when I'm doing it. I am timid and clever, shy, sweet. Um, and then it was this one part, which I'm totally not like, this is not me at all, y'all. But I, I have this part, but I do keep it like, um, I keep it like classy. <laughs> um, I've also been studying a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And like, I was looking at some of my old videos and I was like, wow, I really get on camera not caring how I look. And so I did decide to put on this top that I've been wanting to wear for so long. Um, but I just, I don't know, I'm excited to just jump back in and start um, just making some content. Um, I can't say that I'll necessarily have like a belly button video, just whoosh, just out like that because honestly, the things that I really, really have in mind for that type of video, um, I would have to do a lot of appointments and stuff setting up. So to get 
everything aligned and mash it into one video it's taken me some time so i really appreciate you all that are patient with me i really am thankful for the ones who come and visit my tiktok that's super duper dope i do go live often on there so if you if you miss me come see me omg i was thinking like people have okay so i don't think that love languages are limited to just five languages or whatever i guess people say now i honestly believe that coming to see me is a true love language for me and i really really enjoy people that call me up text me come over to my crib chill with me watch a movie with me listen to music with me eat some food with me like i i, I need that in order to um actively feel love in ways that you know i believe are fulfilling for me so i just really appreciate that this video will just be like a catch-up video i have some clip from october um october was like really really awesome so i filled up our calendar and made sure we did so many different things um and it worked out we did like um movie on the lawn that was awesome like you basically go outside and watch a movie um and then we did that twice we also went to this like thingy where it's like a festival or whatever like you dress up you wear your costume or whatever um oh i went to this jazz um party um at this place um and then for november i've pretty much just been studying my behind off like the main thing is just doing what I'm supposed to do. Last night, like I was just chilling, minding my business. I just got on really fast cause I got a message. And um, it was like, a, someone tagged me in something. And when I looked at the video, at first I was astonished and then I began to cry. Um, one of my followers, they, and they are awesome. One of my followers created like a digital portrait of me and they got like my attitude and my face is bomb. Like he embodied me um, on many different levels. You have to like know me. His name is Mr. Talent and he incorporated my art. Um, he also incorporated my plants. Art is art, um, but a huge part of art in some cases is details. And the details he incorporated, I ended up crying. <laughs> And the reason why is just because like I really, really enjoy the small things about me. All those little things, if you follow my channel, you know that I'm extremely random. So all these things make up who I am. And I'm like a little glass in, like, in a glass. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> like I decided that this fall, I'm going to soak it up and do as much as I can with my son and do as much as I can as far as like festivities and things like that. Normally I um, can experience seasonal depression. So a big part of uh, maintaining my mental health is engaging in the season. Um, and I love to thrift. So I've also, and, but you know, like I'm a summer kind of person, like spring and summer, I wanna be free. I don't wanna wear a jacket. And so something that I decided to do was like go thrifting. I um, went and got winter clothes. I got new boots. Um, they're right there. <laughs> oh, and um, my love, these are the boots that he got me. Like, these boots are so me. I love these boots. Just a catch-up video. Like, I really, really appreciate you all for being so patient with me and tuning in to my channel. I'm thankful for all the new subscribers. I hope that you all continue to stay grounded and thank you for watching. Peace. <laughs>